in theory, price shopping makes a ton of sense. We all want a good deal. We all want to make sure we're getting the best value. But in practice, I think it's frustrating for all parties. I think it's frustrating for the creatives as well as the businesses. So why is price shopping so frustrating? I think the core thing is, is we're not considering problem awareness. Uh, when we think about why we're even getting a project done in the first place, we should be problem aware. We should know what it is that we need, why we need those things, what it's going to do for us, how it's going to save time, how it's going to make impact, how it's going to really be an investment and not a cost. You see a lot of companies that have RFPs. I hate RFPs. I think they're a waste of time. I don't think they actually get good creative results. And it's encouraging, at least on the creative side, to bid the lowest price and to diminish the quality. Whereas the viewpoint that we've kind of come to in any project that we bid on are ones that we're focused on the relationship, ones that we understand the problem and that we can deliver the value and we understand how much of a priority this project is. I have a handful of questions I'd like to share that I think would be really helpful for anyone shopping around for video to ask and answer themselves. That way, when they get a creative service provider, they can ask these questions or share these points and see if they're in alignment. More than anything, we should be working with people that we trust and feel confident can deliver. Creative services is really about more than the tools of the trade, the people who do the things. It is really about, do I feel confident with this person? Do I think that they can get it across the finish line? Are we going to get the results that we're really looking for? And I think when brands have to look inwardly and ask themselves these questions, they're going to feel that much more confident in whoever they hire and also still being able to sail that ship confidently and really collaborate on the project rather than hire it away and say, great, we got that done and we can move on. And then you get something back that you're disappointed pointed in. At the end of the day, we all want to do a good work. So let's kill the RFP and let's really focus on building a relationship and getting to the core of what's the problem that we have to solve? Why do we want to solve this problem? So one of the first questions we are always asking our clients is, you know, what is going to make this project look like success for you? What is success for this project? it helps us get more clear of like, wait, what is the output that we want on this thing? You know, when we're working through a project, we are constantly trying to figure out who's the audience, what are the objectives, who are the characters that should tell the story, and what are the actions that need to happen to deliver on all of those results. So when we start to think, what does success look like? Is it that we just need to get the video done? Is it that we're focusing on trying to find a new vendor? Is it that we've never done this before and we need someone that we can trust in this way? Is it that we're trying to get a certain amount of views or conversions? This is going to help you identify the right partner and be able to articulate these points as early as possible rather than saying, how much does a video cost? So the second thing is, what are you looking for in a partner? I think this goes really hand in hand with the whole idea of like, what does success look like? When we think about a partnership and creativity, we should really be looking at collaboration. When we collaborate together, we get better results. This isn't just hiring this off of your plate, but when you're thinking about a partner, what core values do they have? What core values do you have? What expectations do you have for them? Because when you can lead with that, you can set those expectations early and you can vet your creative partners that much smoother. It's going to make the process go that much better for all parties involved. One of my favorite questions is, what is it costing you not getting this project done? You know, at the end of the day, there are a handful of people that we've worked with that can't answer this question. And this comes to that checklist mentality of like, well, we think we need to get a video done. Why do you need to get a video done? What do you hope that it does? What are the results that you're looking for? When we can get really clear about whether this is a need or a want, it helps really put it into a bucket of like, how hard should we focus on this? What resources are set aside to solve this problem? And the value of getting this done can make a huge difference in making it a priority. So when we're kind of working through that relationship and you already know, boy, this is something that we need to get done. It's that much easier to work with the right creative, tiptoeing right off of that, getting a little bit more concrete on, okay, this video project. What are the problems that this video could solve for you? Is there one problem? Is there several problems? Are there multiple ones? And can we prioritize those? So we can kind of focus in on, okay, this is the main thing. 
Oftentimes, when we're walking people through our discovery process, I find that businesses have several different initiatives, and I'm always trying to focus on what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses. Let's double down on the strengths because we're going to have a much better positive outcome from this. And through communicating this, it's going to help raise some of the weaknesses. And we're going to have more success by creating multiple pieces of content. So usually businesses have multiple initiatives that they're trying to focus on. And when we can kind of prioritize those things, we can get really clear on those things. We can make a much more productive conversation and relationship happen. The last point I think is the most crucial point because you really need to be asking yourself before the call, you know, what would make you say yes to a service provider? These are some of those intangible things, the way that they're showing up, whether they're timely, what expectations you have for them. Maybe you've had a bad experience in the past. Leading with that and being able to set that expectation goes a long way in making sure you're hiring the right creative. So really thinking about, okay, on this call, would I hire this person? Am I feeling lit up by them? Obviously, you need to go through the processes and find all those other things. But you need to make sure in your gut, do you want to work with this person? Rather than looking at, hey, who has the cheapest price? That's not a great way to go about hiring creative services. At the end of the day, I think so many of us are tired of wasting time. I don't want to waste my time pitching a bunch of treatments that are just going to get vetted on the cheapest price. I want to get hired because hey, it seems like you care about this. It seems like you understand the problem and it seems like you can deliver the results. I think both parties need to do a better job. I think creative service providers need to be diagnosing better. They need to be asking better questions. They need to be focused on what are the results of these things. At the end of the day, the better we do our jobs, the more trust we earn with our clients and the more work we get to do and there's less defense going around. On the flip side, I think businesses need to be making better decisions. I'm seeing so much indecision left and right of like, "Mm, we'll have to get back to you. We're not really sure. We haven't thought this through. Let's make sure we're prepared to do this thing. Let's ask ourselves better questions before we think we just need video. We just need photo. We need a website. We need a thing. When we treat it like a to-do list, that is not the right mentality. We need to really be looking at, could this be a partner? Could they solve my problem? Do I trust them? Do I want to work with them? <music>